what is a typical day in the dispatcher's life like? Typically the shift is going to be somewhere between eight and 10 hours long. A dispatcher can't be scheduled for longer than 10 hours in a row, according to 14 CFR. A dispatcher is going to come to work. Typically it's either like a, maybe a 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. till somewhere in the midday. And then there's gonna be another shift of dispatchers that are like somewhere in the midday with usually about 15 minute overlap, maybe around like 1, 2 p.m., something like that, that work until the evening hours. And then typically there's another shift that is going to be like the come in late in the evening and work the overnight. Some airlines do shut down overnight, but most continue to have dispatchers operating 24 seven. So what a dispatcher is going to do is first review any kind of informational files that the company has for them to look at. Sometimes it's called a read file. Then the dispatcher is going to go to their assigned desk. Some airlines move the desk around from shift to shift. Sometimes some other airlines keep you at the same area geographically and some airlines let you bid in the schedule bid for what area you want to work. I've heard it done all different ways at different airlines. Once you get to your desk, you are going to get some kind of briefing, like a turnover briefing from the currently working dispatcher, tell you what's going on on that area. And that's like a shift turnover briefing. You are gonna assume then your desk as it is, and then you begin working your flights. So that's gonna include monitoring the flights that are currently happening. This is typically done with a tool like WSI Fusion, uh, Aircraft Situational Display, as another one was Flight Explorer that I'm familiar with. Very highly accurate display of aircraft that you're monitoring. You can see other aircraft and you can also get the weather information plus other information through that display like NOTAMs and possibly air traffic control information about routes and reroutes. You're also going to be, besides monitoring your flights, your assigned flights, you're going to be answering the phone as crews call in, needing information. Sometimes maintenance control will call if an aircraft has an issue that you need to work on it with the crew and maintenance control to perhaps add a MEL, minimum equipment list item. I have a video about that if you want to check that out. You're also going to be planning your flights. Now, it really varies from company to company. I have a friend who is a FedEx dispatcher and he might do only six or eight flights because they're extremely complicated, long haul international flights. I have another friend who is working at Envoy and over at Envoy, they might do like 30, maybe even more, a few more flights of planning the flights. So the flight planning software really varies from company to company, but you're gonna plan all your flights. You're gonna have a list of flights that you're gonna plan. You're gonna set them all up. They Typically the computer is gonna pre-plan things in there, but you have to go in and review the actual weather, the actual notices to airmen, the actual ATC flow control, and put all these together into your flight package, add any special remarks as a dispatcher, and then send it off to the crew. Once you feel it can be done safely, that is signing the dispatch release. Typically all electronically, of course, but putting in a pin or something to basically signify that you've signed it, you send it off to the crew. So you've sent a release. You're also are part of the release are managing the fuel loads, possibly the weight and balance of the aircraft too. So as crews call in, sometimes they might call and say, well, we have some extra people that were added and you might have to tweak the weight and balance of the aircraft. Sometimes a crew might call and you realize that you need to add extra fuel. Um, possibly ATC has a delay program begin. You have to look at that. What's it gonna impact your flights? Again, meanwhile, you're multitasking, you're answering the phone, you are monitoring your current flights, answering any ACARS requests that the flights make to you or phone requests. So ACARS requests, I have another video about ACARS, but it's essentially where the flight can send a text message to the dispatcher and you can send a text message out as well. Uh, typically this is in a large room and you can leave your desk to go to the bathroom, heat up your lunch at some point during the shift, but you're gonna ask your neighbor to check your phone, be in charge of the phone momentarily, monitor your computer for you momentarily while you go off to the bathroom or you go get your lunch out of your locker. Typically there's a locker area where you can put your things. 
Uh, but once you get your lunch warmed up, you're expected to bring it back to your desk because you can't just leave to go to the employee cafeteria for, you know, like 15, 20 minutes or something like that because you're expected to be on the job at your desk. Now I have seen like at Southwest headquarters, they actually have like a pop-up mini cafeteria that like shows up right there near dispatch. So the dispatchers can go over there and buy food and bring it back. It's nice hot food. So that's pretty cool. But during this shift, you're just going to be continue monitoring. I mean, weird things might happen from time to time. You might have a medical emergency that you have to handle coordinating between the pilots. And most airlines have a medical service with a doctor that is like on standby that can be patched in with a phone patch and you're going to be communicating, facilitating that communication process. You also have uh, issues if an airplane starts diverting to another airport. If an airplane gets a reroute, you're going to have to recalculate the fuel, make sure they have enough fuel still on board the aircraft. If the weather changes, you might have to identify a different alternate airport for the flight and all these kinds of things. So you continue doing this for your, you know, eight, 10 ish hour shift until you're relieved by the next qualified dispatcher. Next dispatcher comes in, starts getting ready, familiar with the desk of flights, and you are going to talk to that dispatcher, give them a turnover briefing, 10 to 15 minute typically. And then once they've signed on to the desk, you go home. Nobody calls you at home. They shouldn't probably. This is some kind of crazy emergency and they need people to come back to work. But typically once you're done with the shift, you're done with the shift. So hope that answers your question about what a day, typical day might be like in the life of a aircraft dispatcher.